Alrighty, Mike and I out for another day and the wind picks up just soon as I start this, of course. Um, hadn't found a whole lot yet. I got two wheats and you got one. Yeah. And that's one. about it. Both places we've hunted. This gentleman told us it was hunted not long ago, right? Right. We decided to give it a go anyway, even though the conditions were dry. But Mikey got the signal. I double checked it and he told me to go ahead and dig it. But check it out. A one cent or one penny from the Honduras. And I think it's 1958. It's hard to tell because it's so bright out here. Let me see if I can get it in. Yeah, 1958. Yeah, we thought it was a cool token instead of a silly old Honduras coin, but we'll take it. Alright, we're on a new permission. The one we really want is across the road, but we're going to have to wait till this weekend to get any information on that. Hunting this little house. And uh, my first target here is a, uh, I guess it'd be a Canadian wheat penny. 1947. It's not really a wheat penny, but it would be the equivalent of. So that's cool, fine. Tickled to that, and we'll put it in a box and keep going. I know we all have bucket lists, and uh, this is on someone's bucket list. Just not on mine. Mikey wants to know what I got. This is probably on his bucket list. Check it out. The little doggy, and the doggy spins. I think it's a top. Cool vine. It is metal inside. I was picking it up. So. Anyway, that's uh, that's one for the display shelf. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're on a new permission today. Uh, I got Mike with me. Lee's on the other side of the house. Uh, house is, we're guessing, mid 20s probably, maybe early 20s. Uh, just got started out here. I found some clad. Found I don't know three or four quarters over by the driveway, and I decided. Time to get away from the driveway. Not that I don't like finding money, but I'm really looking for old stuff. Uh, anyway, my first target that is old is this 1929D wheat scent. And uh, good greeny. So hopefully we can find an Indian or two in here. But we love the old wheat scents as well. And possibly some old silver. So cool. Happy with that. And we'll see what else we can get into on this lovely overcast muggy day. Woohoo! As expected, with a house that sits right on the highway here, uh, a lot of trash in the yard, but uh, still able to pilfer out a few things. I think I got a 44D wheat scent, so that's two for the day, and looking for some silver. We'll see. Okay, guys, I worked a little bit up here, but again, like I said, there was just way too much clad, so I wanted to get try to find something older. Came out here, I found a couple wheats right in here working my way back this way towards the house and then I'll finish this area up here but I had a 1242 signal with about three inches maybe four I just popped it out I don't know what it is I'm not sure it's pretty good size it's light though so I'm not sure it's a token or what it is I think it's a token of some sort this looks like a five in the middle. Huh. I tell you what, let me get it cleaned up. I'll go over to Mike and get some stuff, some spray or something, and get it cleaned up, and I'll show it to you here in just a second. Okay, yeah, guys, I cleaned it up as good as you can. It's from Biederman's Furniture Company. I'm not sure if it's uh, real old. It's a $5 uh, coupon, but it does say here somewhere on the back that it's also worth 50 bucks if you'll, I guess, pay for it then or something. But Anyway, it's a cool old token. I'm tickled to have it, and we'll keep going. On one of our past episodes, I found one, a thing similar to this that got identified as a Bolero tie slide. Um, I think that's what this one is too. You can see where it had the two pieces on it. Cross cut. Again, I apologize. Right on the highway. So, anyway, it's a cool find. Let's see what else we can get. I don't know about the rest of them guys, but I'm cutting up. Having some fun. 1242 signal. Woohoo! All right, guys, this was barely a surface find. It was just about to start its coverage, so I'm going to go return this to the homeowner real quick. I'm right here by the sidewalk, and so we'll get that back to her and keep going. Missouri Mike's in the house. Yeah, Lee's not good feeling one. good. He's laying, uh, laying in a truck. We pulled a trick on him <laughs> just a second ago. <laughs> he, uh, he, anyway, we pulled a trick on him, so he'll know about it now because... It's in the video, but I went to a place where he had hunted already and dug a hole and put two silver quarters <laughs> that I had had in my truck from the club hunt thing. 
uh, from our club meeting. So I, I would, we had talked about it doing it at one time, and I thought, well, here's a good time. So yeah. anyway, I think we made him sick. Now he's laying in the truck sick. But <laughs> anyway, Mikey with two Tootsie Toys, or I mean with one Tootsie Toy, and check it out, it's a huge unit. Looks like he T-boned it again. <laughs> I probably did, yeah. I, I think I tore off the fender. Yeah. I did keep the fender, but I lost the wheel. Yeah, but look, 1969 Tootsie Toy. So yeah. this is one of the later versions. Um, I found a salt shaker, toy. see this? That's pretty That's cool. That's pretty cool, that is. Green nice. glass. Nice I, salt shaker. It may have been a powder shaker for like foot powder. Or it could have been just an, any kind of herb that they might have well, mixed up. Well, it might up, have been so. a powder shaker for yeah. foot powder. Um, maybe in the old days they put in green glass. Do you powder your feet, Mike? I do. You uh, freak. I take care of my feet with. Uh, you wear uh, Crocs all the time. That's well, not taking uh, care of them. What's that baby lotion? Oh, shower, shower to shower. That's it. That's for, not baby for lotion for babies. Shower to shower. That's for not babies. power powder. That That's, is. Yeah, I got powder form. You got Johnson and Johnson. Shower to shower. Shower to powder shower. Form powder form. Powder for my feet. Now, hopefully, in 20 years, they don't come out with one of those things that they say on TV about your feet will fall off and go to the lawyer and get some money. Of course, I won't be around. Have you ever thought of being a foot model? I have, I have. I just have to cut my toenails. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably cutting themselves by now. They are. Yeah, I got <laughs> anyway, we're going to call it quits here and go on. <laughs> we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're at a new permission that uh, a couple of our buddies from the club have hunted before in a small town with some Civil War history. Uh, been some really old coins found out of this uh, out of this town, and uh, we thought we'd give it a shot. Even though it's been hunted, they never find it all. And there's evidence right there. It's a chewed up little three ring mini ball from the American Civil War. And uh, it's been stepped on, smashed, and everything else. I don't believe it's fired. Doesn't even look like it's been rammed or anything. So, you anyway, know, it's a cool find. Tickled with it, and we'll keep going. All right, guys, I got Mikey coming. I don't know what to say on this. This was a 1227 signal. Decided to go ahead and dig it since I'd found that Civil War bullet. I mean, a lot of times, a lot of times, this could be a. Uh, it could be a pull tab or something, but check it out, guys. It's a Civil War staff officer's button. Wow. It's my first staff officer's button that I found. General service. Back is in bad shape. Shank's bent over, and it's crammed in a little bit. What did it ring up, dude? 1227. Yeah, I haven't had any Civil War. But check that. that out. Isn't that sweet? I'm tickled with that, man. Hopefully we can find some more of those. I might go back and hit all these pull tab signals. It could just be loaded with buttons in here and everybody's skipping them. So, we'll see. All right, guys. Here is the one and only Lee Cole digging the fatty. His username is Fat Cleo, right? Yeah. So, he has to dig the fat coins. And an 1863 Indian head penny. And look at the chunky monkey right here, boy. That is stellar. Congratulations, Lee. I got someone else on the phone right here. Hang on. See who I got, guys? I got Jason. I'm not showing his. Not showing his. Uh, this is the quarter hoarder, though. Jason, say what up yeah, to the folks. What's up, what's up, guys? Yo, I was on the phone with Jeff when Lee dug that. That's incredible. You, you try to think in your mind. When that coin was made, the country was in the middle of a civil war. It was craziness. Just imagine, you know, when that was made, what was going on? That's got to give you chills. Awesome find, man. It's incredible. It's incredible. Well, anyway, Lee, good job, buddy. I'm going to get back to talking to Jason and finding one of them myself. We'll keep going. Hey guys, this is Jason Quarterhorder. I'm still on the phone with Jeff because we're both talkers. While we're talking, Jeff's buddy Lee just exposed the edge of a silver from what I'm hearing, so I want to hang out and see what he's got. I think it's a silver. We think it's a silver. It is, and it is a Merc, I think. He's going to spray her real quick. Yeah, I think I see the pole. The one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mercury Dime right here. All right. Hit me this one. Let's see. Boy, it's got some dirt on that yeah, side. It it's been in there a while. Jason, are you proud of me? We use spray. <laughs> I get a lot of slack for that. I forget my spray sometimes. <laughs> if I see it's 1940 something, I give it a little rub. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. This one is a 35, I believe. We'll have to have someone with eyeballs look at it. There you go, Lee. Good job, buddy. Woo hoo! Lucky and catch a mid mark on that one. Is that one that needs to be checked, Jason? I don't know my key date marks. I don't think any from the 30s. Did, I don't either. I always like to look for those mint marks. Yeah, yeah. He'll even look. If was a, even if there was, a, you know, 100 million of them made, if you see an S on the back, it just makes it a little more special. I agree. I agree. All right, guys. We'll be back with hopefully another find in just a bit. 
All right, guys, new permission. Mikey says possible Indian right there. I just went uh, relatively deep, about four or five inches, and busted another wheat scent. So this is a new permission house built in the early 1900s. Beautiful house. Love it. Uh, but it is a wheat scent, and we'll see if we can get some more. That little rascal wasn't kidding when he said possible Indian signal. It is an Indian for sure. What's well, war though, isn't it? Yeah, it is war. It's dark too. I'm kind of loopy here. You call that dark guilt? <laughs> yeah. It is an 1889, I believe. Nice one. 1889. Predates the house by about 10 years. So. Yeah, Good job, yeah. buddy. Where you been all this video? Uh, here he is, guys. Here he is. Finally coming in at the end, there. I'm glad I got one. Hey, huh? you the man. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll keep going. World War II. Because there was a shortage of nickel because they used it during the war, so they made them out of mostly silver. 35%. Yep. And on the back of these, where they made them at, above the little round thing on it, it'll have a big, big letter on it. That's how you can tell a war nickel from a normal nickel. See the big letter above the, the dome? Yeah. That's so the mint mark. If it's a P, which means Philadelphia... If it was a D, it was made in Denver, right. and if it had an S, it was San Francisco. Good find, Mikey. That's cool. These All right, guys, I was on 1137 cool, yeah. signal, and I busted yeah. myself an Indian at 1887. Good shape. Good chance going on YouTube. Looks like they tried to hold it. Uh, it yeah. is hold. It's actually a hold coin. I didn't know it till right now, but that is cool. Always love the hold coins. Let's see if like we can get some more. Old. Oh, Mikey's on the call with the thumbs up. With the thumbs. You want to deglove me real quick, man? No, deglove me. You have to un unstrap it first. Oh. Ow, easy there. My fingers are in there. Oh. Take a thumb. I have long... No, no, just the thumb. Just the thumb. There you go. There you go. Okay. Your little short fingers, and it doesn't take you but a half a millisecond to get those off. What can I say? <laughs> Lee's armed. Armed and dangerous. Is that your second gun? You can come over to take his silver. Yeah, this is actually there. a cool one, too. Where's it at, Mikey? Sweet. Have you got it out yet? It's in the hole. Oh, I see it. Oh, yeah. 1245 signal. That's a sweet little guy. Oh, yeah. Come on. Be good for him. Let's see what you want it some, is. Uh, be good for him. What is it? Do you want to see it? Uh-huh. It's a mercury. It mercury. is a merc. It's over dime. Nice. Well, like toy gun. Probably close to your war nickel, would yep. you think? Probably. Right what are you guys going to do with it? Uh, put it in my collection. Let's see yeah. a date on it? Yep. Let's get you a date. Getting kind of dark, guys, but we'll try to see this. It's a, uh, a mercury dime, and I'm not sure. It is a. It's a slicky. It's a 63. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I have no idea what it is, Mike. Good year, I remember that year. Nice find, buddy. Thank you. I kid you not. I just left Mike and came over here and got the same exact signal. He said he got a 1245, and I just unearthed mine, and it is. A Merc as well. Wow. That's awesome. That is cool. Mine is a 30... What? 35? Or 39? One of the two. Yeah. Well, cool That's beans, awesome. man. That's two Mercs. Good job. Woohoo. We'll see if we can get some more before it gets dark. I got the boys on the porch watching YouTube. They're watching me when I played college basketball. The highlights. Now Mikey's come over. So I can show him a new highlight. What is Just it? got another silver exposed. Yeah, it's another Merc. Oh, this is a flatty boy. I tell you what, this one's worn. Kind of, on that one. Yeah, let's see what it is. Early one. Yeah, looks early. 18 maybe? 1918. Could be. I don't know. Hmm. I'll let you look at it and tell. But yeah, anyway, another Merc. That's cool. Let's see if we can get some more. Heck yeah, I'm not even going to tell Mikey on this one. Okay, I told him. <laughs> this one hit 12.43 at 5 inches, but it's not quite that deep. I just got it out. It's another Merc. Another Mercury Dime. Man, I thought you'd find something good. Yeah, I'd like to find a barber, but I just can't do it. That's a 40s. I think it's 40s. 42. Another one. You're in the wrong spot. 42 Mercs. Hang on. See if we can get some more. Alright guys, Mikey's on his way over. I just busted another Indian head penny and this one is a 19... Oh, please be a 1900 even. 
That's the only one I need. You got a 1900? I don't have a 1900, and I think I just did. I can't see very good, guys. It's dark out here, almost. So, anyway, we're going to keep going. All right, guys, as you can tell, we are burning the midnight oil. I'm underneath the yard light, but I just busted a V-nickel. I think it's a 1910. Not sure, but tickled to that. Covering everything today. It looks like it might be hold. No, it's not. Just pitted. Sorry, it's not focusing very good because it's dark. We're almost done. Two more swipes, and we're heading to the house. Woohoo! All right, guys, I couldn't finish the paths without getting another one, it seems. So this one is a 20s model. I can tell that. So Under the moon, Another worn out one. So we're going to uh, keep going and see what else we can get.